Hey guys and welcome back to another Magical Voxel tutorial. In this short video, I will just be showing you how to create a depth of field effect or a tilt shift effect for your scene renders. So, in order to get started, all you have to do is to do one of two things. You can either click on this depth of field effect and adjust the slider accordingly. And as you can see, it blurs out everything because we are not in the scene. Um, a way to either get around this or the other option is to just click on the scene you want to have focused on. So if I turn this off, set this back to zero, and I wanted to focus my um, the picture I want to save on here, I'll just left mouse click. And you can see that this number has changed, and the surrounding objects, um, the surrounding the outside objects are blurred out and have been focused all here. Um, you can see this creates a nice looking effect for uh, photos. You can also, uh, it also hold, uh, if you don't have this turned on, basically the depth of field effect doesn't hold in that one spot. So if I move the mouse, if I click here, focused, and I move the mouse, depth of field effect goes away so if I don't want that I can select the angle for the camera I'm happy with turn this on left mouse click where I want the depth of field effect to be saved and now if I move the mouse the depth of field effect um, retains where the point is I zoom out if I zoom in, it's still the same thing. You can get really cool looking shots with messing around with the depth of field effect. I like the tilt shift effect, it creates a nice, um, makes the, my scenes look cooler if I wanted to focus on a specific object. And that is basically it. I uh, hope this tutorial has helped, and I'll see you guys in the next one.